Tom, synthetic vision, all the rage. Avidyne, who pretty much pioneered the glass cockpit model for GA, is no, uh, no stranger to this party. Let's talk about Avidyne's strategy for synthetic vision, especially on these gorgeous 15-inch screens on the IFD 8000, and then we'll talk shortly about the PFD 4000. Yeah, Jim, what we're showing here is our synthetic vision. We're showing on our IFD 8000s, which is 15-inch glass. Uh, we're showing synthetic vision on the upper ADI. That allows us to show a plan view of the terrain as well, so you get both pictures at the same time. In addition, the synthetic vision has unique contour lines, so you get a much better idea of what the elevation's doing. In addition to that, we've added uh, enhanced vision, which we, we put that on the lower ADI, and, that, and we've got a live camera here in the booth that shows it's infrared, but clearly it, it looks out into the night so it can look through the clouds. The, the beauty of the system is the enhanced vision is database driven. So this tells you what ought to be out there based on the terrain data. The enhanced vision will show what's actually out there, so you get the best of both worlds. Very unique uh, presentation. How are you going to implement and train people for these advanced technologies, and where will we see this technology show up first? Well, uh, as far as training, you know, we're working with some of the key uh, training partners in the business, folks that are really good at that. One of the things we're trying to do and have done with all of our products is make them much simpler and easier to use. That's really what's unique about Avidyne. And, and the user interface and the way that we've implemented the system with not only the synthetic vision but also our FMS system, which we've talked about before, uh, is, is bringing more of the functionality out to the top layer. So at any given time when you're selecting a function, you know exactly where it is you're going without having to guess. You can clearly see it. So it, the train, we think the training curve, A, is going to be much less, and B, we'll have training uh, partners that will be uh, working with us to get, bring this to market. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today... There is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. What distinguishes Avidyne right now and your synthetic and enhanced vision implementations from the rest of the crowd? Well, again, I think that the big differentiator is ease of use. I mean, we, I think it's a great time to be involved in avionics right now. It's such a competitive market. It's really pushing innovation. And we're just really excited about what this product is bringing in terms of leapfrogging the competition and moving to the next level and this product uh, clearly does that. This FMS takes flying to a level that it's never been to before in terms of ease of use and situational awareness. So that's what we're driving to. We think it's a much better solution than what's been available up till now and we'll, uh, we'll keep driving to make that available on more and more airplanes. Where do you take this technology from here? Synthetic Vision's implementations in GA are obviously in their infancy, but where do you go from here and what's the horizon look like? Well, we've obviously got opportunities. Uh, uh, the aftermarket is exploding. Clearly, we think that the glass in the aftermarket is going to be, uh, uh, that's kind of the next new thing, the way GPS was uh, 10 years ago. And uh, the days of flying on steam gauges are really over. And, and we've got glass solutions that will fit in virtually any airplane. We've had 10-inch glass that we've done for about four or five years now. Now we're moving into the larger glass here, and we've also made an announcement for the PFD 4000, which brings us down market with 8-inch glass. And where will we be seeing these kind of installations in the future? Well, of course, uh, we're the avionics vendor of record uh, for the S33 with Spectrum, and we intend to uh, uh, have a future relationships with other uh, OEMs as well to move this both up market and then again with the other product moving it down market. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. 
Let's talk about the PFT 4000 and what Avidyne envisions for the retrofit market. Well, that's right, Jim. Uh, as you know, we pioneered the glass retrofit, the glass market for um, Light GA, and uh, now we're going down market and making a retrofit product with the PFT 4000 that uh, really is designed to replace the six pack of instruments that you're used to seeing and this box is designed to fit in just about any airplane out there uh, because of the form factor the area is such that it takes up the same space as a six pack of instruments plus we've remoted the atahars so that the depth behind the panel is only three and a half inches which means we can go in just about any airplane that has a six pack today this product is really uh, what we're showing here is, is, is kind of the little brother to the EXP 5000 which is on over 4,000 airplanes flying today so it gives you the same PFD functionality it's fairly non-modal in that we always want to keep the ADI and the, the primary flight display information in front of the pilot we don't want to take that down or take it away where in an instant and create a situation where a pilot can't get back to the important information so this is intentionally designed as a as a primary flight display it has it replaces your HSI and your ADI for your for your uh, of course coupled to the autopilot as well haven't officially announced price or availability but you can expect it'll be a 2009 product and it'll be uh, competitively priced with what's kind of out in the market how will the STC be handled as far as the retrofit? Are you going to look for the big blanket AMLs? Absolutely. Uh, we'll get us a, 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 a approved model list on, on what you think we can capture a large percentage of the, of the uh, installed fleet and, and, and move this product and make it available to them. Are there any accessories or any expansion modes for this particular product? Well, this product, uh, as far as accessories, of course, it's got the remote mounted AHR 300 Atahars unit. And then it has a remote uh, MPIO box, an MPI-130, and that takes all the analog interfaces. So we can work with your existing radios, which makes it much easier to go onto airplanes with perhaps a lower hull value. But one of the things that the big advantage of this product is the big wide horizon. And we think people that are upgrading to glass are going to want to get the biggest piece of glass they can get. And clearly, we've, we've done that by kind of filling it, the whole six-pack area with a, a wide horizon. Uh, and you can expect as we progress, there will be, uh, uh, you can have dual installations of this PFD, dual Adahars, get that redundancy, and uh, also over time add, add RFMS functionality like we've seen in some of our other products. Tom, thank you very much. You're welcome.